Hey everyone, I'm Don't Tread On Me Game Reviews, and today I'll be reviewing Damon 1998 for the PlayStation 4. The game was made by Invader Studios and was published by Destructive Creations. Damon 1998 is a third person survival horror game that tries to pay tribute to previous popular horror games of the 90s like Resident Evil. In fact, the game first began as a fan made remake of Resident Evil 2 before Capcom put a stop to this and decided to make a proper Resident Evil 2 remake themselves. Damon 1998 takes place at Agus Laboratory in a small town called Keensight. In this game, you play as three protagonists. The first protagonist, a rough and tough operative named Leof, who is an elite soldier for a shadowy organization called Hades, which stands for Hexacore Advanced Division for Extraction and Search. The second protagonist, a character by the name of Sam Walker, is a forest ranger from Velamon Forest, which surrounds the Red Crest Mountains of King's Sight. The third protagonist is a helicopter pilot for Hayes named Raven. You begin the story as Leov, whose mission is to investigate an accident at Agus Laboratory. His objectives are to retrieve any research material, samples, and destroy all evidence at the facility. As Leov makes his jump off the helicopter, he makes his way towards the facility. As a character, Leave isn't very likable. He's a very one-way dimensional character with a cold and callous attitude. You're with emergency response, right? That's right, Agent Liev. How's the leg? Ugh, it hurts like hell. But I'll be all right. Can't move very far, though. That's unfortunate. Listen, I need to search this place for survivors. I'll come back for you as soon as survivors? I can. Survivors? Yeah, well, good luck with that. Anyway, I'll be waiting here. I just need to rest my eyes a little. As you progress through the game, you eventually begin to play as a second character named Sam Walker. While Sam is more dynamic than Leaf, we once again find ourselves playing as a character who is neither interesting or likable. Sam does suffer from hallucinations, and his story quickly turns into a cringy revenge story. Raven, on the other hand, has a weaker storyline, but he is in my opinion the most likable character in the game. He's a helicopter pilot for Hexacore. His story involves getting separated from his fellow comrades, and he must reunite with them by making contact and making his way to the extraction point. The story comes together very poorly with all three characters. It's really bad and will not grab the player's attention. The plot never leads anywhere that feels coherent, everything just feels all over the place. You will not be satisfied. Just absolute awful storytelling. The gameplay can be mixed in both quality and execution. Inspired by games like Resident Evil 2, Dayman 1998 follows the tradition of the over-the-shoulder third-person horror game. Gameplay includes completing objectives. These types of objectives will include recovery of important equipment, completing tasks for certain characters, investigation, retrieval, restarting power, etc. Certain doors and safe will need to be hacked in order to gain access via a hacking device. This device when used activates a minigame where you must correctly press at the correct points in order to gain a successful hack. The game features a number of puzzles throughout your playthrough. These puzzles are wide in variety, however there is one puzzle that is borderline unreasonable. This puzzle requires the player to be able to answer four different questions regarding Greek mythology and the answers have to be typed out in the Greek language. Dayman 1998 has two inventory systems, one where you store items on your person and the other a terminal where you can stash your items or trade your items for other items. This will completely depend on whether you have the correct quantity in order to make the exchange. The terminal can also be used to save the game and the device can be used to read information of ID tags which you can find throughout the game. Various collectible items litter throughout the game. Notes and newspaper clippings provide the player with various bits of information, including the background of the story, information regarding King's site, and the inhabitants who dwell within the town. Audio logs provide the player with much needed background regarding the various situations in the game. ID chips are required to be deciphered for the information at hand to be attained. These include codes and other pieces of information. There are also collectible deer toys that you can collect by shooting them. Combat in the game at times works and at other times does not. While shooting guns do feel powerful and meaty, certain problems begin to appear during the game. Drop in frame rates during the encounters with monsters can cause input delays and thereby locking or delaying your shots. 
I experienced this a number of times, in particular when the infected were about to come close to making a grab for me. I found these moments frustrating. Surely an indie developer of 10 people could have resolved this issue within the game. However, even these types of problems persist. The enemy AI is pretty atrocious in Demo 1998. Enemies will be walking into objects in a persistent loop, making you think, did the developers really make an effort here? The boss levels are even worse. These enemies will also walk into walls and objects in endless loops, and even the final boss in the game, I repeat, the final boss does this and worse, the AI of this creature will even completely break down, causing the supposed threatening nemesis knockoff to stand completely still. Eight does feature some interesting ideas with its game mechanics. You have two different reload functions at your disposal. One is the longer reload feature, where you can reload your firearm by pressing and holding the reload button. While this is slower method of reloading, the quicker way requires one tap of the reload button and you quickly reload a weapon, however you drop your magazine onto the floor in the process of this action. It's an interesting and unique game mechanic and I want to give the developers props for this interesting game mechanic. The visuals of Dayman 1998 is quite high quality for an indie game. The developers have made an astounding effort with graphics, textures and lighting. The level of dynamic lighting in this game is excellent, though the game does need some optimization. One of the big issues in this game is FPS drops. I believe this is caused by a lack of proper optimization. For example, there are areas in the game that contain too much clutter of items and objects. In the beginning of the game, when you first approach the entrance door of the Eggers Laboratory Complex, you will notice there are at least two fire extinguishers on each side of the door. Only one is needed. You don't need extra props within the area of your game, if they do nothing to benefit the presentation of the game. I know this myself because I have done game development at university before. There are graphical issues littered throughout the game, including texture anomalies, a number of graphical glitches including clipping, other physics anomalies that seem to expand the zombie's neck while creating a weird wobble effect. It's a real shame the developers have never bothered to iron out these issues. I know it's an indie company, but they had at least 10 people on board. That's more than a lot of other indie developers. The animations in Dayman 1998 are mostly good, but due to some poor programming of the animation sequences, they can break when you least expect them. It happens when two animation sequences collide with each other at once. Voice overs for the characters are atrocious, and even produce cringy dialogue, and just straight out poor execution of acting and speech. It really reminds me of something from the early PS1 generation. Sound effects and music in the game is actually really good. The developers have created good gun sound effects, though the audio of the MP5 gun sound is pretty flat. Background music is excellent and provides much needed suspense and atmosphere for the game. <laughs> Fail. You know, for a second there, I forgot how you do things, Major. You sit there, all ladylike to keep that immaculate uniform or spick and span while real soldiers go into battle. Ah, too bad it has to be at the expense of real men with bona fide families. 
<laughs> yeah. Fucking crimson skulls, man. You're all the fucking same. <laughs> I can see why you chose this boy to be your sidekick. You both got a lot common. For starters, just think about it. You're both cowardly little bitches. Hey, you! Drop your gun and let me see your hands! Hey, you! Drop your gun and let me see your hands! To conclude this review, Dayman 1998 is not a very good game. It suffers from poor voice acting, very poor storytelling that seems incoherent, not well written, and goes absolutely nowhere. I would say that Dayman 1998 has the worst story writing in gaming history. The game's excellent visuals and sound design are very impressive, but that cannot make up for the amount of glitches, a horrible enemy AI system, which is particularly true for the boss encounters. They are just the worst, I think, in any game I've ever played. There's no excuse for the final boss to be completely borderline brain dead. FPS drops that cause input lag can leave you feeling frustrated. While Dayman 1998 introduces some interesting game mechanics, this cannot make up for some strange game physics and questionable puzzle design choices. Overall, I give Dayman 1998 a 4.5 out of 10. If you like this review, please like this video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitter. Want to help this channel grow? You can do that by making a donation to our PayPal address. Or if you love Dogecoin like I do, you can donate via our Dogecoin address. If you like Bitcoin mining, please check out CryptoTab, the world's best internet web browser, which also serves as a Bitcoin miner. All information is listed in the description of this video.